Good morning, everyone. We are back from Oregon, and to be honest with you, yesterday I should have filmed, but I was so exhausted, I took the whole day off. But we're home, kind of breaking out a little bit for a while. So hopefully I can keep up on Vlogmas a little bit better. We just went home for the weekend to celebrate Zach's sister's birthday. I'll put a picture of us on the screen and actually two of his sister's birthdays. So that was fun to be there, but it was a busy weekend. It was like, go, go, go. And I was just wiped. We got home Sunday evening and I was like, I have to take a day off. Not necessarily just from work, but like just in general, I just needed a veg day to like watch movies or, you know, catch up on YouTube videos and all that kind of thing. So I did, I just chilled yesterday, didn't even do my makeup or anything. And it felt so nice. Actually on the plane, on the way up to Oregon, I watched Where the Crawdads Sing. Oh my gosh, I loved that movie. I thought it was so good. I want to know, have you guys watched it? And a couple of you recommended I watch From Scratch. I think it's a series. I don't think it's a movie. Is that right? I haven't watched it yet, but I have it on my, like, I need to watch it. So I need to do that. Um, but yeah, we are back home. Today, I plan on moving the cabinet, which everyone, literally almost every single one of you guys agree with Zach. Don't paint it and move it over by like my little art station. So I think we're going to do that today. Maybe go get some liquor that we are needing to fill up the cabinet. I also placed an order on Amazon for a couple new pieces to add to the bar. So I will have an Amazon home decor haul coming out soon. And now we'll just hopefully we can continue with Christmas festivities. And I've already done like a couple get ready's with me, but I thought I would start this video just getting ready with you guys. I use the Revlon Color Stay with Combination to Oily Skin. I've been using this for years. I'm in the color 220. I go between 220 and 240. And I really, really love that foundation. It is such good coverage without feeling like super heavy. And honestly, I've been using all of this stuff for so long. I'm not one to like really branch out a whole ton when it comes to my makeup. Once I love something, I and pretty much a ride or die for it. So next I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and this is in the color Almond. And I just kinda put this in like some highlighted areas. I'm gonna go back over that blemish. And that's really kind of all I add for that. And then I'm taking the NARS Laguna O2 Bronzing Cream. I really like this stuff and I just apply it with my sponge. I flip it over, I use my sponge for my foundation goes here, my bronzer goes here, and then I flip it and do my concealer here. Anyway, what have you guys been up to? I feel like taking a couple days off from Vlogmas, I'm like, wait, what are you guys doing? What's going on? Are you guys doing anything for the holidays? Do you have any like trips planned or do you stay home? What are kind of your holiday traditions let me know about that we are home for the rest of the month and we we're just kind of saying we're like really itching to do a vacation soon okay so i just put a little bit of bronzer on just to give my face some life while my concealer is setting a little bit i'm gonna flip my sponge around and after I do my bronzer, by the way, I am not a makeup artist, so I just kind of do what works for me. <laughs> I set underneath my eyes with the Halo Glow Setting Powder from e.l.f. in light pink. So I just take a little bit of that and set it right away because I don't want any creasing. And I put it on my eyelids because one of my last get ready's with me, I was talking about how my eyelids, how my mascara always gets on my eyelids. 
And I think it really is just because I have oily eyelids or because I have like product on my eyelids and it's making my eyelids oily. So I really try to pack on the powder because I hate that. And it's, there's nothing worse than like being out at a store or at a restaurant and talking to someone and getting in your car, looking in the mirror and seeing that you have a bunch of mascara on your eyelids. You're like, are you kidding me? I look like that the whole time. Then after that, I just take this brush. I really need to wash my brushes like so bad. And I take the Charlotte Tilbury uh, bronzer. Mine's like kind of rubbing off. <laughs> Mine is like ready to be replaced, but I am using this down until I have nothing left. I have another one. I bought it actually a little while ago, but I still have some. So I just kind of bronze my forehead a little bit down here. You know what I forgot to do is I forgot to put on my blush. Uh, so I take the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand blush in Pink Gasm. I love this. Okay, that's all I need for that side. Whoops. I love that is what I was basically trying to say. I don't think I closed it from the plane. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and try to spread it. Hey, she's gonna be blushed today. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I shouldn't have even put any on the other side. Whoops. Let me try to wipe some off. I'm gonna take some of this Charlotte Tilbury. This stuff is out as well. I have another one, but I'm like, you know, with these spendier items, I just use them down to like, literally there's nothing left or it breaks. Wow. That was a lot of blush. Did not mean to do that. Then I take this Naked Basics, Urban Decay Naked Basics 2. And I just like darken up my whole lid. I do not wear a lot of eye makeup. I just feel like with hooded, my hooded eyes, I just, I don't know. I just prefer to not draw a lot of attention to my eyelids. So I do like just a little bit to make it a little darker because I put so much powder on it, it like makes it really bright. And I don't always love that. And then I take a little brush, take that same color or the color primal and kind of wing it out. I let my eyelids drop to make it as natural as possible because that's how I'm gonna be when I'm talking. So I just kind of take the edge and pull it out. And then I do the other side. I kind of go off of my bottom lash line and then I just close and kind of attach it to, you know, kind of make a little triangle or a little wing. Good, and then I take this little pointed brush here, same color, and I just drag it on my bottom lash line. And I do my brows. Now for brows, I'm only using two products at the moment. I'm using the NYX brow pencil and then the NYX brow gel. Take this spoolie side and I just kind of brush out any makeup that might have gotten caught in my eyebrows. Then I look up at the light and I kind of just trace my natural brows just to fill them in a little bit. Even though I have decent brows, I feel like they look better when they're filled in. What do you guys feel about the thin brows coming back? I feel like I've seen a lot of people like into like the very thin brows. I definitely went through the thin brow stage when I was in like late middle school, early high school. That was definitely the look. And thank goodness I did not pluck my brows where they didn't grow back. But I don't know. Honestly, I feel like, you know, brows are just... I feel like they don't need to be either thick or thin. It's just kind of like what works for you, you know, what works for your face, what works, for, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like both are beautiful. Okay, then after I do that, I go in with the brow gel. I love this stuff. This is in the color blonde and the pencil that I use is in the color taupe and I feel like the mix of it just is perfect. I have gotten the pencil in blonde and it's almost just too light. So I don't know. I think with having the darker pencil and then going over it with this lighter gel 
just works good for me. Okay, I blow dried my hair just for time and I'm gonna do my hair with you guys. I pretty much do the same hair every single day. I'm gonna put a little bit more heat protectant in. Okay, so I like to section my hair off, but I pretty much do the same hair every single day. I just, I don't know, find it easy and you guys know you probably do the same. Are you someone who does your hair pretty much the same every single day? Or do you try new hairstyles, different hairstyles a lot? Let me know, but I am definitely someone who does it the same every day. And usually I use that little crimper for volume. Should I get it out? Maybe I'll do that as well. I was being a little lazy, but I love this little crimper for volume. I'll show you how it works. I've shared this in a video before, but it is seriously game changer. If you're someone like me who has, like I have a lot of hair, it's just very fine. Like I, I have a lot of hair, it's just every strand is just fine. So I take the crimper, I section off my hair, grab a little piece of it, and I crimp it and crimp it like so. And it just gives it volume at the root, which really helps my hair. And what I really like about this is I can, you know, wear it for a couple of days without like the product buildup where my hair doesn't feel gross or I can't like run a brush through it. Same with back combing. The back combing just really makes it difficult for me to like run a brush through it. So that's what I really love about the crimper. And then I just kind of, I do my curls with my straightener. My straightener's so old. I need a new one really bad. I just haven't bought one yet. And I just grab sections and I just kind of like wrap it around, but like I pull it down to give it like a looser curl. So I just kind of like pull it down instead of what would give it like, if I did this, and kind of did it that way, it's gonna be super curly, but because I like a little bit of a loose curl, I just kind of drag it down and it really helps give that loose curl look. And yeah, this is how we do it. I like to leave the ends out a little bit because I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a beachy, like more of like a daytime look. Sometimes at night, if we go out to dinner or something, I will curl it all the way down to give it more of that like blown out look but for like every day kind of casual i do like to keep the ends out but yeah this is just basically what i do grab little sections again and just pull it kind of like a half curl and i just like the almost like wavy loose curl effect that this gives so this is what I've been wearing a ton lately, and it's been working out. Okay. So for the top layer, I do the same thing that I do underneath. I just kind of grab little sections and just kind of turn it out because it gives me a little bit of cur like volume. Kind of hard to explain, but I like the way it looks when my hair is all done. So I'll grab it from the front flip it out like that. And then once I get the curl in, it just looks like, almost like I slept and woke up that way. I don't know, it just seems very natural to me. So I do that first, then I grab the front section, kind of go over it and then I try to avoid some of my damaged hair, like these pieces that are still growing out. If you guys remember, I have like some really, bad damaged hair like really bad but it's growing out and then i just yeah i just kind of pull it like a half down or like halfway curled and i really like the way it's been looking lately i bought a curling iron and everything and i still go back to the straightener i just feel like i have a little more control over the curls with the straightener and i just really love the way they turn out, but that's just kind of how they look. Okay, 
that is it. I'm gonna go eat my lunch and then I will brush my teeth and put my lipstick on and then finally work on that shelf, get it moved over there, decorate it a little bit. Okay, we got the, what's it called? Bearded goat. We're back for the update. The update, I got, I love the, um, the crew sweater you wore the entire time. Over the whole time. I love in it. Oregon. I went to actually, because they had like a 50% off deal, I went to go order the other color and it said they're all out of stock. So I was like, take it. <laughs> okay. okay, so last time, so he got these on Black Friday, ordered a size large, which typically, well, you're in between a medium and a large. Yeah. Um, and these were just a little, they're too big. But the crew was perfect. And yeah. It is perfect. Wearing it, it's perfect. These were just too big, whereas I didn't want to return, but I just knew they would be annoying. Okay, here's the hoodie. S seems big still. Really? We'll see that. Maybe they just go longer. It, it does look better, actually, a lot better. Oh, that looks nice. You like this one? Yeah. Looks a lot better. For some reason, the sleeves, though, I don't know if it's because of how it was folded. Maybe that'll sit well, down. Oh, yeah. Out. Yeah, it will, I think. I feel like these do run big. Yeah, definitely. But it doesn't look nearly as oversized as it did. This looks yeah. much better. Yeah, I'm definitely... Here, you want to look? Or here, I can move this over. No, it's fine. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> um, they're definitely a size big. The crew neck, I got a large and it fits perfectly. I could fit into a medium if I had yeah. to do Yeah, yeah. But mostly I would order large if... Yeah, I think you keep it. Give you a little bit of room so you can see. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks good, right? Yeah. All right. But then I have the um, the joggers. joggers, which I also got in a large, but redid to a medium. Yeah. So, let's try those on in a second. Like no. Okay. What are your thoughts on the joggers? They're more like. Uh, you tell me. They're more like sweats. Yeah. Which if that makes. Yeah, like they're a little bit not like tapered. I mean, they are tapered, but not a ton. I like them. I like them too. Yeah, those are nice. But their feel is like sweats. Like I have Lululemon joggers and some other joggers. Some uh, gym shark. Yeah, think. gym shark. These are way more set sweat. Like around the house, especially these will be so comfortable. Yeah, and taking those back to Oregon when it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, is I like it. Kind of weird. It, are you supposed to match like that, or is that kind of like too much? I no, I think it's okay. I think it depends on the situation, but you can also wear the sweater separate from those. You oh, don't yeah. have to wear them together. Yeah. Oh, you should show your new shoes too. Oh yeah, hold on. <laughs> I got these in Oregon at Dick's Sporting Good. Dick's Sporting <laughs> Good. Um, they're on sale for fifty bucks, and then we had another like twenty percent off or something. They ended up being like $40. Yeah, and but Brandy see, really liked them. I like them on you. I feel like they're the perfect shoe that's like sporty, but also still fashionable. I really, really liked them. And they're different from what you normally wear. So it was just kind of like a nice little switch up. The only thing I've noticed is Oregon was really rainy, obviously. And you can see like he already had some. Yeah, especially this one. Yeah, like uh, dirt like or water flinged up. Even here, that's why I don't really, like I have a couple pairs of white shoes. I usually don't like to wear them because I feel like they're just gonna get dirty. Yeah, but I like those a lot. Yeah, especially for put them on with the, Yeah, put them on with that outfit. Okay, hold on. Yeah, for $40. Yeah, oh. those look so good. And did you get your true size in those? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll link everything down below for you guys. I also got a nice pair of shoes, but I'll show you later. I'm not quite, I love your shoes. I do too. I love them. So I think, I don't know if it's online. They were, they are fifty dollars. Yeah. Originally, I think one ten or something. But they were on sale. I think they're really nice, and I usually always get Zach shoes for Christmas every year. I always have, and uh, this time you kind of just got them early because we're not really doing gifts this year, yeah. like just little things to just open up on Christmas Day, but. Yeah, I like those. All right. Cute. Well, thanks for the update, cutie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Doing Vlogmas, there is no hiding how much I wear this shirt. You guys, I wear this shirt. I am not even kidding. I, I think I have three or four of these. I know I have three, but I feel like I have four. I just can't find the fourth one. 
I wear them every day. I really do. I love them. They're the best t-shirt I have ever owned. <laughs> they just go with everything. I have them in lots of different colors too, but I wear the black one seriously every single day. It's like I don't have to think about my outfit. I could just put it on and save any kind of creative vibe that I have for other things <laughs> and I don't have to think about an outfit. That's just me like telling myself it's okay that I wear these every day. Anyway, Zach showed you guys the new pair of shoes he got in Oregon. I got a pair too. And I don't know about you guys, but I put my tennis shoes on so I can get some work done. I don't know what it is about wearing tennis shoes, but I will get so much work done rather than just being in like my house slippers or some slip-ons or slides. Tennis shoes like make me get stuff done. It's so bizarre, but I bought these at Dick's Sporting Goods when we were in Oregon. They were on sale, so they were already $50 off. They're kind of expensive, full price, but they were already $50 off, and then my sister-in-law had a, an additional 20% off coupon, so they came out to be like 100, a little over $100. No sales tax either, so that was really cool. So I decided to splurge and get me a new pair of black tennis shoes, and I love that they have the little bit of pink, so I'm getting my tennis shoes on because I have stuff to do and the only way it's getting done is if I put my tennis shoes on really. Okay, first thing that is up is getting our little mini bar moved to its new home. Zach won by a landslide. I ordered a couple new pieces for the bar because I just... I don't know, I was feeling like inspired and feeling like I wanted to get a couple new things. We do need to go to the liquor store and see if we can get a couple new bottles. So this is one piece that I got for the new liquor cabinet. Now the one that I have in here already, which is just a cocktail mixing glass, I have all my utensils in. So I was like, maybe I should get another one but the biggest bummer about it is it it doesn't it looks nothing like the picture. So this is what they sent me and this is what the picture on the box and on Amazon looks like. So I have to send it back. I am going to order it again because I like look at how beautiful that is. I just thought it was so unique and so different, but that was a little bit of a bummer. And you know what was weird about it too? is it was sealed so that's super bizarre i also got some more of the mrs meyers acorn spice this is my favorite fall hand soap and spray for the counters it just smells so good i love it i really really love this so we got some more of these and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i haven't put them in my bougie my uh soaps they run out and I just have been filling them with this, but it's fine. I also got this little brass clip set that I thought was super cute. I already have a few of these. I bought them, I don't know, a year or so ago. I love these so much. And then it came with the alligator clip that, the alligator clip, I thought that was cute. And then it comes with a it says on here cafe clip. So if you have, like if you're someone who um, do, does ground coffee at your home, it has like a coffee scoop on the end and a clip so you can just clip your bag. They actually have a picture right here. So you just clip your bag and then that's so nice because you unclip it, open your bag, get your scoop, clip it back up. So I got these and I got this for Zach's stocking, but he got to the mail before I did. So when he opened it up, I was like, well, there goes that. Um, I didn't actually tell him that, but it's a bottle opener. It has a couple different things on here, but it's a bottle opener, a corkscrew, and it's just gorgeous. So definitely a timeless piece to add to our collection and yeah, so far that is all that has come in, but I've ordered quite a bit. So I'll be doing an Amazon home decor haul as soon as everything comes in. But for now, I just thought I'd give you guys a little sneak peek of the things I've been ordering, which is very bar, which I feel like I'm always ordering bar stuff. I love 
love a home bar. I just think it's the most beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna clean off the bar and I'm gonna move it over to the art studio space, which is just kind of like a plethora of things over there. I, we have the vacuum over there. We have my dresser over there, which I really need to decide what I'm doing with that. Am I keeping it? Am I not? I've been trying to keep things because I was thinking we were gonna be moving soon, but I'm just letting that go and just letting the house come when it's supposed to come and not getting you know too much of my feelings about that. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. I have a friend who's moving into a house. They just bought a house that she said she'd be happy to hold them in the meantime. So I might see about doing that through her. Also, I need to decide what I'm gonna do with this space up here. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And then while we're gone. All right, guys, you and Zach were right. This is the spot for this cabinet. It looks so good back here. I love it. Now, so far, I mentioned this before, but we do need to go liquor shopping, kind of add some more liquor in here. I'm gonna put the not so pretty liquor down at the bottom, and then I have gin, and then I have mixers or like little, like other little liquors, and then we have the whiskey up top. Now, these are the most beautiful whiskey glasses ever i saw these or similar ones to these years ago in someone's like instagram story or something maybe it was on pinterest i can't remember it was so long ago and i had been looking for these forever well we went to total wine and i saw them there and found them on amazon they were a little bit cheaper on amazon so i got them on amazon and they're just absolutely gorgeous the, the the video doesn't even do them justice and once you put the liquor in them the way they sparkle is just so beautiful so we have the neat glasses and then we have the rocks glasses and i cleaned all of these but obviously before we have any sort of drink in them i'll give them a rinse out again and then these ones i've had for a long time i got these from home goods but i did find these on amazon as well so i'll link these down below so i just have like the mixture in here the cabinet isn't as big as i thought it was but it's actually kind of good so that i don't have to have like a ton of liquor and glassware in here so it actually is gonna work out really, really well. Up here, I just have that piece of artwork I've shared with you guys before that reminds me of my aunt, who is one of my most favorite people, and then a vintage clay pot. And then down here, I'll add more. I have this new artwork that I've showed you guys before, this piece that I found at the antiques shop, a couple bottles of gin, and then some tequilas just kind of randomly placed back here. Okay, it got switched up again. I felt like just kind of clustering the liquor bottles together made a little bit more sense. Usually when you have a collection, it does a little bit better when you cluster them a little bit. Like especially in this kind of situation being that everything is on this shelf. So I still have this up here and I might actually move this candle that I had on the shelf up there. Mm. Looks better in person than it does on camera, um, but maybe not. So I need to find maybe another little piece to go up there. And then we have this shelf here. I moved the neat glasses up here just because I kind of wanted a shelf to feel really full. And then down here, I added the light. Now, ideally, I'm gonna drill a hole in the back and then feed this through the hole throughout the back. But for now, I just put it there it's a total eyesore, but we'll fix that, you know, just to play. 
And then I have some more glasses here. And then this bottom shelf is just a candle, the artwork and the glasses, and then an empty shelf down here, which ideally I would just close this to keep it from being distracting. But because we kind of put the vacuum over here a lot, I felt like I don't want it to like us to kick it or something and break the glass. So I think I might leave it open, but this is kind of how it's looking right now. Let me know what you guys think. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, we've 